Hello, everybody. Um, nice to see you all again, and uh, welcome to episode four of Joya Connects. Um, I'm Anthony, and this is Andrew or Shovel. And today's um, topic that we're going to talk about is uh, how to maintain human contact in a modern society. So, just to let you know what we're going to be doing today, we're going to just have a short 10 minutes at the beginning, and then we're going to have a a 15 minute sonic meditation, guided meditation that we've, uh, which we recorded earlier for everybody. And then we'll have a, a little time at the end where if anyone's got any questions, please put your uh, questions into the chat and we'll see if we can join in and, and chat and see if we can answer any of those. So just to start, I, I felt that this was such an interesting topic. Um, Shovel and I talked a lot about it and with so much focus these days being on technology technology and social media, there seems to be so many less opportunities for us to meet other people. And being social animals as we are, that's so important for us. So I felt that today would be a, a really good way, of, a good time to talk about some of the practical things that we could do but I wanted to make sure that we realised that one of the most important things with regards to this, how to maintain contact in a modern society about people getting lonely was even when we are on our own, that we shouldn't be, uh, we should be compassionate and we should be kind to ourselves. I think that's a really important thing to always remember. So um, I'll pass over to Andrew and we will um, we'll begin. Thank you, Anthony. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone where you are over the around the globe. I've got a thing about circles I love. So I, the, the, the image of, of a circle of us all being in various parts around that actually helps me feel that I'm part of a community. Um, living on a living on a circle, mm. um, yeah, it helps. But I've also personally experienced the irony of having hundreds and hundreds of names in my in my cell phone, in my iPhone, but at times felt incredibly lonely. And at stages of my life particularly coming out of a, a band that I was in 10 years and living very fast and feeling very connected, feeling in an incredibly special musical family. And then it ended. And around the same time, if not at the same time, a five-year relationship ended. And then there was problems, situations within my real blood family. And so I felt incredibly alone and was very much in a modern society and didn't know how to reach out, who to reach out to or where to reach out. Despite having laptops and computers and iPhones. But what happened was uh, down the road, a, a, a brand new yoga club or yoga studio opened. And even though my heart felt very broken and I felt incredibly vulnerable, I had to force myself, I suppose, to go to that yoga studio, even though it was about 300 meters down the road. And from that, having human contact, meeting someone who welcomed me as I was at the desk, at the front desk, and then I was able to talk to them about yoga and then join a class. And there were lots of other people who I, all strangers at that point. 
And that encouraged me to join a, would you believe, a, a boxing gym, which is something I thought I'd never do. But the yoga led on to boxing. And, and I still have friends 20 years later from that. And the boxing led me on to doing a, a drama course for three months, Weber Douglas Drama Academy. I threw myself into a brand new situation I thought I would never be in. And I say brand new because I remember buying um, ballet shoes and ballet tights and having a ballet class as part. And, and I met people I thought I'd never meet from various walks and remain friends again 20 years later. So maybe what I'm getting at, and I know it's not as easy as just, well, just walk outside the door and join what you need to join or what you think you'd like to. But I'm suggesting that despite the difficulty in that for various reasons, that if we can be in human contact, there's, there's maybe lots we can join online and sit behind a screen as we are now, and it plays its positive purpose, as it does right now, that we can speak to globally all at the same time. But there's nothing like human contact that you can see all, well, usually you can see all of the person the feet to the head, not just the sort of newsreader bit that you can see now. And then about 80% of our communication is body language rather than verbal. So to be with, it, with another or with others can really help our nervous system to feel part of a community, to feel part of a friendship, a society, a group, a circle. It can be drumming, art, acting, taekwondo, swimming, whatever. In fact, to take ourselves maybe out of our comfort zone. And this is ageless as well. Sometimes we think of people have worked all their lives and then come to the, the dream, if you like, retirement. And retirement can bring its own form of loneliness, but much of our friendship was through our employment. Redundancy, likewise. And the grief and loneliness and loss that we feel when one of our, when a partner sadly dies and that can be incredibly challenging and also schools if we're not the favorite at the school can be incredibly challenging and lonely and so again to look outside of our usual groups to challenge ourselves, to challenge how lonely we are feeling, that there are human groups that exist that we can go to. And potentially, if we are feeling incredibly lonely and we are not joining a group or taking ourselves outside our home, then maybe we need some extra help first. Maybe we need to speak to professional people and find out what the block is. So I'm saying it's not as easy as clicking our fingers and we just do it. Sometimes we have to help ourselves to help ourselves. And so Anthony and I earlier today created a sonic meditation that we, our intention is that it supports all of us, helps us, maybe gives us some guidance to find company with ourselves first and foremost, and then feel more comfortable finding 
it with others and within groups and situations such. So we hope you enjoy and receive this sonic meditation with the heartfelt in intention that it was created by. Thank you. We begin today's meditation with the conscious thought of maintaining human connection in this modern society, society that's maybe more technologically based than ever before. We're all so busy with our iPhones, cell phones, laptops, computers, and digital information, and dots and dashes, and so on. Where is our human connection in all of this? But to begin by feeling our feet. Sensing our feet, feeling our arms, putting our hands on our chest, hands on our legs, that we're here. But this is our flesh and our bone, our face, our heads. Moving our fingers, moving our toes. That we exist, that we're existing. to breathe into that. If you like, you can place your hands where it might feel best. One on your emotional center, your chest, another on your abdomen area, both on your leg. Maybe a hug of yourself, whatever feels good to you, just to know you're in contact with you, with your human self. The first relationship begins with you, with you. To breathe. And as you breathe, allow your breath to flow through the back of your throat. like it's a really slow elevator, a lift. It's gently dropping down, down through your throat, into your chest. Touching your heart a beautiful light and warmth. This slow descendants into yourself is bringing. Eyes are closed, if that's okay to do. And again with this Slow descendants into your very being and your breath can be felt blowing out through your chest, through your arms, your legs, down to your feet, through your fingers. Through you and the connection with you that you're here. Breathing and being. And to consider an image of someone that you know, someone you are friendly with, 
if not immensely friendly. And image yourself saying hello to them. It may be a pet, a partner, a relative, a friend, a valued work colleague, whatever. Someone who you know you can say hello to, the shopkeeper, the care, and image that person, that being. And as you say hello to them, visualize receiving the warmest, largest smile from that person, that being. and feel the sense of that warm smile connecting into your very being. No words have been exchanged as yet from them to you. Just a simple hello has brought warmth. And imagine, visualize other people, other beings, pets, relatives, friends, etc. Also joining and forming a circle. And you begin by turning to your left and saying hello. And again, receiving the warmest of smiles. And then that person turns to their left and says hello and receives the warmest of smiles. And so it goes on. And with each greeting, with each smile, you feel and receive the warmth and depth of that connection. A beautiful circle. as many people as you feel comfortable to be in. And as that circle keeps connecting, keeps smiling, keeps warming, circle expands not only with more people in a different area it could be the ocean it could be in the sky it could be in outer space it could be in the earth wherever you feel comfortable could be flying. That circle expands with more and more people you know, more and more people and beings that you don't know. Colors, creeds, genders. All greedy and smiling receiving the warmth. And then that circle grows again and there's a sense of outside of that circle. The space in between us that connects us, the ether, the invisible bond of all and everything that stretches beyond this globe in and out the galaxies the universes the infiniteness the 
oneness. That all and everything and everywhere and everyone is fundamentally connected. Just to consider this is not a belief to be considered. Trees, the oceans, the earth, the sun, the air, the ether, look like the smallest, smallest cog amongst the humongous cogs without that small one connecting. The large ones will not work. The micro and the macro all needs to be connected, all needs to be in harmony, person to person. We actually are and this can be forgotten. But we are, is the offer. With nature, the elements, our communities, our neighborhoods, with ourselves. and greet ourselves as we place hands we have moved upon our chest, on our abdomens, on our arms, legs. Connect with oneself. Hello. What is it that you may need from me? whatever the answer may be. Or fill it. Give yourself what you need. And breathe. And sense. Gently and slowly blink your eyes to open. Look all around the environment that you're in. Move your fingers gently and slowly. Move your toes gently and slowly. Breathe. Remain in the sense of connection inner and the outer, the above and the below, the micro and the macro, always exists. Thank you. So we've got like just five minutes to go and I'm left in a space of being quite feeling quite relaxed, I must admit. Um, I was I was chatting to somebody yesterday about this topic, shovel, and um their reaction to me was, Well, I don't want to join a group. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do those things. And I started to think about loneliness and social anxiety which i imagine is probably quite a big thing and I'd be, I'd be interested to know what you think about simple small steps so one of the one of the things i thought of shav was like i said at the beginning was about practicing self-compassion so understanding that it's okay to feel 
lonely or anxious and be kind to yourself and avoid self-criticism and I suppose there's been times in my life when I've been I've kind of been like that early earlier in my life earlier in my life and I and I realized that it was the little it's the small steps I was always trying to make big steps but I wonder whether there's anything you could just say on that at all that might be helpful Yeah, I think when you said about big steps, when we're feeling unattached to others, when something that we was that gave us joy, which gave us as a community, is, is ended or has ended for for reasons sometimes out of our control, to mm. we can feel fragile, mm. to say the least. And so, as I said, to just snap our fingers and well i'm going to join this group and then it yeah. isn't always yeah it isn't that always feel realistic that doesn't feel realistic i don't i can't imagine myself being like that like i'm just going to go and do that i would be like i don't know i don't know how i'd feel and so my suggestion and this is a suggestion is that maybe we need to talk start with one to one mm. find maybe a professional whatever that may be and speak to them if we are feeling incredibly lonely and unattached, but yet are blocking ourselves from attaching to an art group, mm. to a modeling group, to a yoga group and, and a drama group and so on, what's stopping us? Mm. What's keeping me in this bind? Mm. I think one, one of the things that I've I've realized that's helped me a lot in those times is by having a dog I've got a beautiful dog called Jackson and uh you can't really help but you got to take the dog out for a walk obviously and then guess who's there all those other dog walkers and as much as you're like oh no it's the it's so and so dog walker there's there's that moment isn't there where you're like oh hello and I guess it's things like that that are really helpful and having Jackson in our lives here He's a joy and he's he's a he's a wonderful thing to have. So I think, yeah, having a, having a pet is a is a good small step if you can. Obviously, if you can if do you can. that. And all, and also, you know, joining groups is oh, sometimes a thought of that. But maybe putting our shoes on if we can and our jackets and leaving our front door and walking, particularly yeah. in, in nature. Yeah can and is a a reminder that company comes in different shapes sizes smells sounds mm. birds mm. suns rain grass trees earth mud cows sheep <laughs> to be amongst that to remind ourselves as i my intention or our intention within the meditation was there's a lot more connection if we can just slow down and, and notice it and appreciate it. So nature is a, is a free and something we can do on our own yeah. supported resource that can fill us full of joy and yeah. full of profound beginnings, earth, mud. So yeah, be with the rhythm of nature. So we've I, again these these sessions are always short, but I think I think we're start we're taking little steps here. A joy yeah. is a new thing. So um, there's some lovely comments in the uh, in the chat. So thank you everyone for coming again today and joining us. We'll be doing the same again uh, the last Tuesday of August. So until then, everybody have a have a good rest of the day and uh, take care. Bye-bye. Have a great, yeah, great summer.